right, so we're here at Crankworks, and I'm here with Darren Bearcloth, and we're going to be doing a little bit of a bike check. So, why don't well, you tell me a little bit about your rig? Good to see you, bud. Yeah, so check it out. This is my new uh, Canyon Cinder, the new DH rig in the uh, custom gray and hot pink, I would say, or as Calvin would like to call it, electric salmon color. Bike's super sick. Been on this uh, platform for, for a while now, and I've uh, been loving every minute of it. You can win a World Cup or uh, shred it down a rampage course does everything you need. My bike running uh, DBO suspension front and rear, uh, spank wheels with fiber core which basically means there's foam inside the rims, uh, dampens the vibration a ton actually and then uh, the same with the cockpit, spank bars and stem, uh, vibro core as well and the bars. Once again it uh, dampens down all the harmonic vibrations which is actually pretty sick riding clapped out bike park all day which is nothing but bumps. Go back I'm running a tie spring, save some weight on my uh, DVO suspension, Shimano Saint cranks, Shimano Saint brakes and uh, spank pedals. That is my bike. Calvin you got any dumb questions for me? Oh I'm full of them. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah you get a, you get to travel a lot you know you put your bike on a plane tear yeah. it all down PSI out. How do you set it up like what's your preference? Out of the box or just in general? Like yeah like you it? Just setting up out of the box. Oh, pretty much. Uh, you know what's crazy is like my suspension. I haven't even touched it. Pulled it out of the box and I haven't even tweaked it at all. And you know, like I was telling you earlier, I'm, I'm pretty easygoing when it comes to my bike, especially when I'm like not doing a competition or whatnot. You know, like slope style, it's a different story. It's like it's gotten pretty meticulous. But oh, all in all, I'm I'm pretty easygoing, so I can uh, I can just ride these bikes straight out of the stock box, get out of the house and go for a ride. You set it up differently for like when you're doing free ride? Oh absolutely. Like yeah. I, I like right now I have this as my race suspension setup, which is yeah. like for park and you know just for, for DH racing style. And then when I uh, when I go to do some free ride stuff like big drops or jumps or like rampage or fast series, I actually have uh, custom pressure settings for the front fork and then also the spring and air pressure for the rear. So if you were to like give your bike to someone else, is there any like stock things that you tell someone like to always watch out for, whether it be rebound or Absolutely, rebounds is one of the biggest killer for most rookies out there. You know, like it's it's insane what when you watch like if you're sitting around at, at a bike park watching a jump, um, seeing how many people have their suspension set up improperly and the and the the easiest thing to do is screw up on your rebound. And you watch someone go over a jump and they're just getting pogoed and every time you're like, oh my god, it looks like you're gonna die. If you don't know anything about rebound, you basically don't want your rebound too fast, especially if you're gonna be doing any jumping, because that's gonna pogo you and put you over the bars, which is the worst way you can crash your bike. Not that I plan on going over the bars anytime soon, but it does no. happen. Yeah, yeah, we're going big enough. Yeah. Is there any other hidden features of this thing? Hidden features. Well, yeah. no, I don't have a stash pouch in this frame or anything. If that's what you're asking. No stash pouch. No. Here no, pretty, are. pretty much. Uh, yeah, freaking. Yeah. It's insane that like stock bikes, we can go out and shred them and do all this crazy stuff that we like to do. And man, you know, it's the same stuff that uh, that you know all the consumers would buy as well. It's not that's like sweet. you know, like uh, you know, supercross racing where their bikes are like insanely tuned differently, where you know someone would never be able to ride that type of a bike ever unless they're factory but yeah bike weight I'm pretty sure I'm around 32 33 pounds and it all depends you know obviously um, when I'm when I'm lower weight it's usually because I'm running like a ply and a half tires versus like the DH casings it makes a huge difference if you go to heavy tires you can add an extra pound and a half but uh, I'm running the Maxxis uh, ply and a half which I end up using putting these on for park and you know you get the odd flat here and there but tubeless it's pretty rad yeah, and the tire technology nowadays is pretty insane like I've been shredding the crap out of this bike for the last four days in the, in the bike park and you know I've hit rim a couple times on rocks and, oh yeah are you carbon oh no no carbon rims but no no but uh, yeah carbon still frame. no flats even with ply and a half tires pretty crazy thanks for tuning in I'll see you guys soon all right boys my name is Darren Bearcloth, and we're going to be riding the new Dirt Merchant. Come on with us.